We are hearing story after story about sacrifice and bravery. Heroes who protected family members, friends and total strangers in the face of unspeakable horror. ABC's David Wright is outside the hospital in Aurora to bring us the story of two men who are best of friends. One thought that the other had died and David has more on their amazing story. Good morning, David. Good morning, Bianca. We're standing outside the Aurora Medical Center, one of six area hospitals where survivors are being treated. Men and women, children too, uh, who are lucky to be alive, and they all have a harrowing story to tell, including these two men. Just three weeks ago, they were riding high. Kerry Rotman, a former high school football star, got married to the love of his life, and Pierce O'Farrell, one of his best friends, performed the ceremony. The Dark Knight Rises was supposed to be a reunion of sorts. The two of us just decided to go to the, uh, the midnight showing. Clearly, they chose the wrong theater. My buddy Pierce got hit in the arm first. I grabbed my buddy and we just hit the deck, you know, right in front of our seats and just laid as flat as we could. And I just immediately just started praying. He told me, he was like, you know, I got hit, I got hit. At that point, I got hit in my leg. Pinned down beneath their seats, they saw their chance when the shooter paused to reload. It's like, Pierce, Pierce, let's go, let's go. And um, at that point, I just couldn't respond, man. It seemed like he was very lifeless at that point. Um, so I let him go and, and turned around and just kind of bolted out of there. And thankfully, I'm, I'm really glad that he did because the gunman came back in at that point. The worst part for me was thinking that my buddy had passed away. I mean, he just married my wife and I, you know, three weeks ago. Pierce O'Farrell says the gunman came awfully close. And his boot was two inches from my head, and I was just face down on the ground, just with my eyes closed, and just, just praying, man. Miraculously, those prayers were answered. The Lord decided that he's going to keep me around. <laughs> but even through this awful experience, their Obviously. faith and friendship survived. I keep it pretty simple. I get out of bed every day and I thank him for another day and I just let him lead the way and he's he's led me so far. Both men say that they look forward to seeing each other again as soon as they are physically able and Bianca both are expected to make a full recovery. Such great news. All right, David, thank you.